G'day, City Light Church family. Don here with a very important announcement for you. As you know, we're a community made up of many hundreds of people from all around Adelaide who have a great hope in the person and work of Jesus. And he's given us a great work as well of being his ambassadors in the world, uh, embodying and communicating the gospel with our lives and with our words. Uh, right now, though, with um, the spread of the coronavirus, gathering together in large groups is not how we're going to be good neighbours. And so with much consultation, uh, much prayer, uh, we've, we've spoken with medical professionals and government. Uh, we've certainly spoken at length um, amongst the elders and lead pastors of the City Life family of churches. Uh, we have decided that at Glenelg for at least the next two weeks, we are not going to have our regular Sunday gatherings. What that means is uh, very little else changes for us. We still go about the business of being good neighbours. We still go about the business in our smaller groups, our discipleship groups, at least for now, we'll continue to meet, um, continue to bear one another's burdens, continue to um, serve our communities, continue to um, pray together and uh, meet together. We'll be practising good hygiene, um, some physical distancing, even though we gather in those smaller groups, because we're participating with the wider community in this group effort, this community effort, of trying to slow down the rate of infection, flattening the curve, uh, and, and thus f um, helping our medical infrastructure not, be over, not become overwhelmed uh, with this increasing crisis. It also means that very little changes in that from the very beginning, uh, City Light Church has not been a group of people or a group of individuals coming together for an hour on a Sunday to receive religious goods and services, but rather we are the very body of Christ. We are women and men who have been had our lives radically transformed by the gospel of grace, uh, who gather together many times a week. And even as we go as individuals, we still carry about with us and within us this great message of hope uh, empowered by the Holy Spirit in our lives. And so what I want to offer to you is the same great hope. We're continuing to trust in Jesus. We're continuing to pray uh, for those people who are physically affected, who are financially affected, who have been socially and relationally affected by this current crisis that we're going through in our city. Um, every week, so even though the next two weeks we're committing to not gathering together, um, every week we're going to be reviewing, reassessing and communicating again through our discipleship groups, um, through all of our online platforms, uh, text message and email as well. We're going to be communicating where we're up to, what we're, what we're doing. We will be live streaming a gathering each Sunday morning at 10 a.m. And so I want to invite you to still gather together with us together even though we'll be scattered um, but still to gather together in your homes maybe even with your discipleship groups or smaller gatherings in homes uh, to participate in singing participate in the reading of word and, and in prayer together even though we are scattered nevertheless we'll also be gathered virtually uh, for the foreseeable future for the next couple of weeks at least um, <clears throat> so please lean into your discipleship groups uh, we, we are a community made up of this core unit of discipleship groups for a reason. It's so that when things like this happen, we continue about business as usual, helping one another, being in one another's lives, um, uh, encouraging one another, bearing one another's burdens. Uh, there is a, a much more robust uh, communication which you'll find attached just below. So please have a read through that. If you need any kind of help, financial help, relational help, um, and if you find yourself just becoming relationally isolated as well as socially um, distancing, then please reach out to your discipleship group. If you're not in the DG, sp like speak to someone, you know, from Cedar Light Church. Uh, speak to myself. Go to cedarlight.church forward slash connect. Uh, fill in some details and we would love to help you get connected in. And in every way, trust in Jesus. Pray to him. And I look forward to seeing you virtually this Sunday and Lord willing, very shortly uh, in person here at Byron Street on a Sunday. Bless you.